go. Good morning, it's Jim in beautiful Beaverton, Oregon. Well, today it's the uh, 16th of May. It's a beautiful day. Sun is shining and uh, everything is growing really well. We got uh, peppers here, different four different kinds of peppers. We have a cherry tomato here and a, a this tomato here is actually is called Oregon Spring, and it, we are in Oregon, of course, and it was made at Oregon State University, which is 50, 60 miles from here. So uh, if we go on down, we've got all different kinds of herbs, cilantro, uh, so on, so on, so on. Uh, we are finally getting some real, honest to goodness, strawberries on our uh, strawberries which is a good thing. We've got all kinds of lettuce and uh, onions and so on and so on. Uh, if you look up overhead just real briefly, you'll see I have a 60% shade cloth on. It would get way too hot in here today if I didn't. So that's our standard summer up there. But what I really wanted to talk about was uh, last week we moved the catfish out of this tank into the uh, new pond in the greenhouse, the outside greenhouse. So I have redone this tank and uh, it now has uh, pumpkin seeds in it, which are a small bluegill kind of looking uh, sunfish, excuse me. They're about half the size of a bluegill. They get about a half pound tops maybe. They are an ideal fish. There's seven of them in here and they cohabitate quite nicely. I'm not feeding them and it's the wrong time of the day so they don't really want to come out. But, but I would highly recommend these as a kind of fish if you're not eating the fish. They're really too small for a food fish. So anyhow, let's uh, proceed on outside and I'll show you what we have done out at the pond. So anyhow, last time we were here, if you switch back, you'll see it was, had a lot of uh, algae in it, and algae is clearing up. We have new plants. Uh, this plant here is a um, royal blue pickerel, pickerel rush, or some people would call it a pickerel weed, but it's a prolific uh, plant that grows native around here, and of course we don't have flowers yet, so I can't show you. And then we have a brand new, this is called a... Uh, Paul Herrett water lily and it's going to come out with apricot colored flowers which if you look down close you can see I don't know if the camera will show that's the tips of the flowers getting ready to come out right there so when that happens I will let you know the uh, water hawthorn which was all over the place two weeks ago is dying back which is what they do in the summertime it'll come back about September or so. Right when this one quits going, that one will, will bloom, hopefully. So the catfish is down there. I fed him this morning at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, believe it or not. Um, he's still just coming out at night. We'll get him coming out here pretty soon, but he seems to like it a lot in there. So uh, everything else is running fine. You can see the siphon is going off right now. We we're going to come around before we quit here and I want to show you what I'm growing in the little greenhouse now. These pots are new since we have filmed. They're 12 inch, the biggest pots I've done. They're really easier to do than the little pots. As you can see we got a little uh, seashore motive going and this is our tractor motive. But we have, uh, this is a regulation eating cucumbers in a uh, patio cucumber style. Uh, and over here we have two sets of tomatoes and before I quit the tip of the day is this if you're in a little greenhouse like this or even the greenhouse on the other side there are two kinds of tomatoes there are ones they call determinate and there are ones they call indeterminate the indeterminate ones just grow forever until they croak out it gets cold or whatever and they'll grow 20 feet long if you let them that's not what you want you want a determinate one because it's going to come up here and stop and that's the way you get them to stay in here hopefully <laughs> it'll stop or we'll pinch it off but that's the tip of the day and i will see you next time